Here's a uh, Russian cuckoo clock that I bought here a while back. And I have a lot of work to do to this thing. Uh, just like any other clock I work on, you have to take the hands off. I never worked on a Russian cuckoo clock before, never owned one before. I wanted one. I think I paid an okay price for this thing, even though it's got a lot of damage to it. Um, the bellow weights are extremely heavy. Here's one of the weights. Uh, this bellow was ripped. They used some kind of paper. Um, Almost looks like a uh, napkin or a I'm not for sure but taking the screws out to remove the bellows put in my parts box there this bellow is also torn, ripped, and got some bellow work to do. Uh, the bird is already out of the door. Um, so the next thing I need to do is uh, access to get the chains out. Removing the uh, the washer here. This washer is what stops the uh, chain and going up into your clock um, as the weight drops. But we have to remove this washer. And remove the hook that should be on the other side and it has the washer which allows the weight to uh, hang down a little bit from the case um, a lot of the Chinese uh, sorry Japan clocks that I have have these little washers that stop also I will say at first glance from looking at this clock it's cheaply made but again I wanted a Russian cuckoo clock because if you collect cuckoo clocks to me you want one from all makers or all countries next thing I need to do is take out these screws I'm trying my new phone holder here it might be a wasted video I'm not for sure hopefully uh, y'all be able to see this when I'm all done if y'all like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. It only takes a minute or a few seconds to do so. But there are four screws here, and these screws... I'm going to have to talk, uh, talk you through it. Uh, you're not going to be able to see me taking out these screws. I had to get my eyes on. The uh, clock movement is extremely rusted. It's been out in the weather. The screws have rust on them 
like I said, this clock is going to be a challenge. It ain't going to work, uh, look brand new when I'm done with it. I don't like my clocks looking brand new. If I wanted a new clock, I'd go out and buy a new clock. They have history behind it. I like history. I like the history behind clocks. Each one of these clocks that I own tell a story. And I think the story to this clock is... Hey, they kept us out in the weather. They didn't keep us protected. Because this thing is rusty. The screws are rusty. I'm having trouble... getting uh, my screwdriver in the slot because they are so rusty the uh, the slot is rusted over and so I'm not going to clean up these screws I'm going to replace them This also has uh, Bant's um, lever here to uh, advance the uh, cuckoo, but like I said, this, uh, this movement is, has been out in the weather. Move the case to the side and uh, let you see the movement here. The bird has the uh, articulated wings. I'm not for sure when this uh, clock was made. I, I'm not. I'm no expert on uh, uh, Russian clocks. Like I said, this is the first uh, Russian clock that I have owned, but I do like the uh, bird. Uh, it does have the articulated wings. Um, they are one side is stuck, but again, that's because this clock has been out in the weather. The reason why it's stuck is this wire here. There it goes. But it, it was stuck but I do like the bird red white and blue <laughs> um, I don't see any manufacturer markings on this clock yet but uh I'm going to take the clock apart, clean it up, and put it back together and hopefully get it, get it running. The chain is stuck in the movement. There we go. We got the chain out of the way. So, uh, here's the count wheel. Put some uh, pressure on it, see if the pendulum moves. The pendulum is moving with uh, very little pressure. That's a good sign. Always a good sign. Um, this is a thin plate movement. And so, uh,
I'm surprised that there's not pivot wear with it being a thin plate movement. If it was a thicker plate movement, yeah, I wouldn't reckon it would have any. But being a thin plate movement, I'm surprised there's not pivot wear. But anyway, uh, we're going to take this thing apart and uh, get it cleaned up. Again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.